hey guys, Scott with BWSR Bushcraft here. It's uh, Thursday, I think it's July 13th, 2020. I am very tired. I've been working all day. Um, humidity's creeping back up again. Temperature's not bad, but it's just it, the weather patterns have been crazy. It just pours down rain, then it gets really hot. Um, you know, so it's, <laughs> it's just, it's like being, having to be flexible for me to get anything done, and it's, it's, uh, that's something I want to talk about today, I guess. Um, I don't have a format. What I, what I want to do is talk about just a lot of the informational channels, you know, they kind of cycle with what's going on and so I'm just gonna throw some stuff up here what seems to be the topic now is there's no normal there's just no normal okay um, big old bumblebee um, the question I have is compared to what okay so let's talk about this for a minute um, I think what we're hearing about no, no normal is uh, things aren't the way they used to be. And that's true. And they're not going to go back. I'm trying to get this thing focused here. They're not going to go back to the way they used to be. Let's just give a time reference. Uh, 24, 30 months ago, okay? It's all relative. Got to have something to compare it to. Uh, people, people are starting to panic. Um, I, I know it's just a lot of ambient stress if I go in the grocery store, the hardware store, no matter where I go in town. Oh, yeah, check this out here. Let's see. Whoop. Look at that thing bumped me. Oh, another big bumblebee going by. These zinnies have just gotten huge. Um, so, normal, normal compared to what, uh, what we're used to doing and how we're living in this nation. I'm just going to speak about this nation, okay? The rest of the world's following suit, or some places are more ahead, some are behind, some are right up. Um, Guys, as as the pictures that you saw before me coming on here, you've witnessed the natural order of things. The natural order of things has been here since the creation of time. And it's going to be here till the end of time. And uh, it, 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 how do I explain this? All right, let me just say this. It seems to me that we have been living uh, with no normal in this nation for an exceptionally very long time. Okay. Um, all the twisted things that have gone on, let's just say in the last 50 years, they took God out of school, took God out of government. They want to take, you know, well, doing everything they can to take God out of marriage. Um, out of relationships. Um, they're, they're doing everything they can to take the natural order of things and completely pervert it. Remember, whatever God has genuine, Satan has his counterfeit. And the evil men ruling in their minions, well, <laughs> they serve their master. And uh, it, there's evidence of that. So, what I want to say is... is we want to make sure that we bring and continue let's see here, to have order of the mind, okay? Because without that, nothing else is going to matter. It's not. The battle's in the mind. Just go back to the third chapter of Genesis. Use your King James Bible, too, if you would. Just, just read that old chapter. You'll see that. The battle's in the mind. 
And that's where it's at right now. Um, I am convinced there is no shortage of anything. It's being purposely, willfully, and maliciously held back. All the way from food to medication to medical attention. Um, but we're seeing such a rapid decay of things. Um, just go back. Just, just, just take five minutes and connect the dots. Uh, 30 months ago... You know, I hear people going, oh, never imagine it could be like this. No. And this is not even half of it. Okay? So something I want to I wanna say is, you, you know, a lot, a lot of the information channels, they're saying, get yourself physically and prepared. Yes, I agree. Um, again, like I always say, got to get rid of anything that has nothing to do with your everything. Uh... I'm not here to tell people what to eat or how to eat it, but there's a lot of bad stuff in a lot in the things that people consume. And I've heard and I'm watching, uh, people are now just, they're not getting their nutrition because they can't afford the good food. And quite frankly, most that I've seen all, in a lot of different places, their diet and lifestyle, those two things right there, okay, diet and lifestyle, um, I haven't been good and you know um so why change the habit so right now we're we're being okay let, let me put it this way um i've heard it said and i did you know people i just heard it on one of the programs that the people are just refusing to change their 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 habits and they are um i am going to give you a personal experience I uh, have an acquaintance, know him about 10 years, and, you know, he's complaining that, that work, you know, is really slow, this and that, yet he just went out and bought a $1,000 recreational item. Okay. And I've talked to him, I said, hey man, you, you might want to cancel that. That's three car payments. No, I'll worry about that later. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm not wanting to sit here and tell you what I'm hearing out there. I'm telling you also what I'm having here. Talk to someone today. The wife's grandparents are moving in. Can't afford the place where they were in their 70s. This is going to become more and more and more common. Um, that's okay. All right. Uh, but this, going back to this fellow that bought the thousand dollar recreational item and complaining all the time that Work is slow, it's not the same, this and that, having anxiety attacks. This is what we're It's like, well, yeah. Because, you, you know, you got a rub going on. Um, I'm still on the subject of, of normal and people saying things aren't normal. Um, things are normally, things are happening in a normal fashion for the condition that we're in for people who have let their mind run amok. Okay? Real simple. Um, if you don't like what I'm saying, I, <laughs> I'm not going to give no apologies. What I want to do is give you a resource by which to confirm that. Hopefully. I know I'm kind of bouncing around because it's... It, it's <sighs> trying to get a point across and I'm just... It's late in the day, and I'm just trying to make this video to say this nation, the United States of America, has done everything that it can that I've seen in the last 50, 60, 70 years to completely shred itself, beginning with just getting God out of things. It's out of, like I said, you know, I've already said what it's out of, many more things. So what I... To bring balance and, and order to the mind, a little order to the mind. As soon as this video is done, grab your Bible, preferably a King James Version. Read the whole book of Ecclesiastes. Okay? Just read it. Twelve chapters. Take you about an hour. Now, when you get down to the last two verses in the twelfth chapter, those two things right now, if people in this nation, or should I say, the people in and of this nation, 
would do. Um, you'd be experiencing the normal. Just like you see that thunder and lightning, that's normal. Just like you see that bumblebee in the flower, that's normal. Just like you see those fawns with their mother nursing, that's normal. That's the natural order of things. The natural order of things is still here, guys. It, what you're seeing is a very dark veil over that by the enemy called Satan. Okay? It's uh, delusion and an illusion. We're, we're in the age of deception. And there was a whole bunch of it going on. And that's... that's what I'm the crux of what I'm attempting to say. Um, you, you, the best way I could say it is, you ever known somebody at work that's on their way out the door? You know what I mean? That's the only way I can say it. they're they're on their way out the door. So they wreck havoc for the last week. You know they don't really want to do their job. They're sandbagging. And when they leave, people go, "Oh God, why didn't they get rid of that guy before?" Certain policies. That's where we're at right here. That's where we're at right here. And something else came to my mind. And let's, you know, let's just walk with us together. I really truly believe that God is doing a shaking going on. He's doing more of a shaking. Um, it's going to get a lot rougher. And that's why I say you got to get rid of anything that has nothing to do with your everything. Because you're not going to be able to carry the weight. Um, in short, I'm hearing statistics... You know, people, I mean, they can't, you know, they ran out and took their, I, I like this word, it's funny, their stimmy money, you know. <laughs> you know, $1,400, I've heard crack money or whatever, it was $2,000 if you got the 600 the child credit. I, it, it, people all across YouTube and other places, not just everywhere, is talking about that. Because that's the stage we're at. People are going, whoops, I guess this isn't going to last forever. No. <sighs> Do they really think that that was free? No. This universe is set up with a natural order. You guys have walked with me since I planted these flowers. I started out, I had to till the dirt, soil, you know, plant the seed. I had faith it was going to grow. And uh, now I get to enjoy the beauty of it. It's peaceful, it brings tranquility. So what I'm saying is, guys, really, again, think about getting rid of anything that has nothing to do with your everything. Because if you want a little bit of peace and tranquility through all this, you're going to have to get rid of the weight you are. How is it that people are affording seven, eight hundred dollars for a month car payment, three hundred dollars a month for a car payment? Fellow I know complaining about you know no work, but goes out and spends a thousand dollars on a recreational item. Really? You know, I think we've all been caught up in that, and it's a trap, but it's it's too late in the game to be playing games. I mean, you've got to move, man. Move, 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 move. And I don't mean physically from here to there, but if it, again, if you can get out of the city, do it. Um, real estate is... Blub, 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 okay. Um, over how, overpriced housing market. Um, what I'm hearing, seeing, and reading, and mostly informational channels, um, and people that know what they're talking about. Cancellations of, you know, escrow or deals. I mean, I won't even get into that. There's, there's, there's a lot of channels out there that can tell you what's coming. All I'm saying is, I'm actually witnessing this when I hear it. I'm witnessing. I go out to the hardware store. I go to the grocery store. And there's conversations with people. I mean, they're confirming it. This for real. Okay? So, again, I just want to say, I'm not, you know, want to make sure you know I'm not regurgitating. Oh, I heard that, so I'm going to put it on my channel. No, I'm telling you, I'm hearing it. I go about my day and my business, and it's just right there in your face. So I'm telling you, even out here, rural, in a small town, my neck of the woods, and there are people still just partying. I mean, they're just going like crazy, man. Again, those are the ones that bother me because they're not preparing. You want them at your door?
and they're going to do it, you know. So you got to be prepared. Um, but get your Bible. Read Ecclesiastes. Go all the way to the end, okay? We're not going to change this. Um, I've already gone through my little cycle of, you know, looking around and seeing how people want to wish it away. I don't like it. I, I'm sick of it. Um, so I'm seeing people getting hurt, um, having their life being endangered for no other reason. And these people, these, these <laughs> little green men that are running the place for now. Okay, for now. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, God has a plan for that. But we're going to suffer. We're going to suffer a lot. Here. Um, they don't care. They don't give a rip, man. They don't care. But again, just, just you know, as I've mentioned before, ask for God's help. Ask Him just to kick open the heavy doors if it's what you really want. To help you get into a better position to ride this thing out. Um, I don't even know if I'm in a good position. I really don't. I mean, I need, like, so much more stuff. I mean... I don't, this winter I think is going to be rough. At any rate, guys, this video has gone on long enough. My main thing is this. I want you to know that there is a normal. And the people that are talking about, oh, there's no normal. Uh, yeah, there is. They're, they're just running around in the mess. And if you'll step outside that mess, um, and I think a good start would be re reading Ecclesiastes and paying very close attention to the last two verses of chapter 12, okay? Just, and don't go there first. Read the whole thing. <laughs> um, I guess in closing, they're going after people that got credit card delinquency, car payment delinquency, and uh, there's our statistics on different states on the percentage of the delinquencies. Just, just go type in, go do Google search it. Percentage of car delinquencies in whatever state you're in. So, at any rate, do your best not to get caught up in it, okay? So, I guess I'll say today, thanks for bearing with me on this, this video here. Um gone all way over it's uh again the main crux is there, there's a normal there, there's always been a normal um man is just uh he's covered it up for his own profit pleasure and gain so at any rate guys um take the time to do that Get your Bible, King James preferably, Ecclesiastes, read the whole thing. So until next time, it's been Scott with BWSR Bushcraft. Pack light, pack tight. Stay hydrated.